We're here today to help you hone your structure, systems, and skills. Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. You've reached the Wandering But Not Lost podcast for real estate and reality meet. This is episode 132. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Oh my God, it's nice to be back in California after after three months. Three months away, so I'm I'm very excited to be back in my little office, my our WBNL podcast studio, and it's great to be back with you guys again. So that's awesome. So what do we got on the what do we got on the books today? Welcome home. Well, first I want to ask David, how's the market, David? Um, The market is great. Um, It (laughs) it depends on how you look at the market, Jan. Uh, Exactly right. Market is great. It presents tons of opportunities. Um, We our inventory levels uh, continue to stay low. Interest rates are incredible. There's just so much good going on in our market right now, despite all of the other stuff, right? So uh, if you'd ask me how our market is, I'll say it is killer. It is, and it, it always is. And there's so much press being written right now across the nation, wherever you're listening from, about how real estate is astounding, all the economists and specialists and, and experts about how well we've rebounded. And, and, you know, low inventory everywhere. We coach people all around the country. There's low inventory everywhere, but that means there's opportunities for listings. So David is here today too. We're going to be, you're going to be seeing more David on our podcast because he's joining forces with us here at WBNL Coaching. We're very excited to launch, to do the f- official launch of WBNL Coaching 3.0. We're calling it that because, oh my gosh, we feel like we've given it a major upgrade because of this amazing platform that we have it on. And we're gonna get to that in a minute uh, because we wanted to talk today. Can you pull up that graphic? The people that are listening are not gonna be able to hear. uh, I'm gonna do my best to describe the five stages of grief. Um, I listened to- uh, Jen, before you go into that, you know, when you asked me how the market is, um, yes, the market is great. And the market is, uh, we should be paying close attention to the market, which leads into what you're going to talk about now, uh, because there are some factors that are occurring right now that are going to affect our market in the future. And the more in touch we are with them to this, to the point of what you're going to discuss now, um, the better we'll be able to react and educate our people. So don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Uh, Our our market, there are, there, there could be some challenges as a result of what we're dealing with. Uh, and honestly, and that's a great setup because where I, I'm showing a graph, so if you're listening on the podcast, but you can always go take a look at our video over on YouTube, go to wlpodcast.com. What episode are we, Matt? 132. In 132, and you can get a link over to follow us on, face, on uh, Facebook also. Maybe we don't have Facebook. We don't really have our podcast on Facebook. I meant to say YouTube. But I have this amazing graph that I borrowed from this awesome presentation. If you're a Las Vegas realtor, you've got to go, and it's supposed to be up today as we record this. It's Friday the 29th, I think. Is that correct? Of August. Um, on From Jeremy Aguirre, the uh, guy from Applied Analysis and Sales Track, did an amazing presentation on the uh, economy, the health crisis, the economic crisis, and specifically how it's impacting Vegas with you know sp- specific things if, if it doesn't come back, where we could go right now, the housing market is solid, as we just said, because there's no inventory and there's huge demand because the interest rates are so low. There's huge opportunities for listings. I don't know about you, David, but that's what our team's focusing on. We're, in fact, I'm jumping, I'm diving in now and working on leads that we're developing, trying all different ways to see if people are interested in putting their house on the market. Everybody wants to know what their house is worth. Not everybody's ready to sell. Absolutely. And that's why this lockbox is sitting on my desk, because as soon as we're done with this podcast, I need to go put a lockbox on one of our properties. All right, right on. And so you got to go find it. Okay. And that's, that's why I thought when he had this, he had this in his uh, slide deck. And it's the Kubler-Ross grief cycle, which we, when I, uh, Steve Kitnick and I did all our short sale training back in the in the Great Recession uh, time frame, good God, that's like 12 years ago, we <laughs> use this five cycles of grief. It's mm-hmm. classic. It's used all the time in business. And so if you don't know what the five stages of grief are, it's denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Now, the interesting thing about this, and I thought, wow, this is pretty much, it just reminded me, everybody's been going through this, right? Okay. You know, in the beginning, you're like denying, there's tons of anger. Holy God, anger is definitely where, where a lot of people are. 
um, you know, frustration, irritation, anxiety mm -hmm. over all of this pandemic and what's been happening. The bargaining is uh, being feeling overwhelmed and helplessness. And you might, you know, want to take, you know, like just shut down and forget about it all. And uh, which could lead to depression, which is everybody knows what depression is. I'm sure everybody has been, had some depressive thoughts, I'm struggling potato. to find meeting, telling your story. And you finally get to acceptance where you explore options and a new plan for moving on. So since the beginning of the pandemic here, David, this is when we called you, right? And mm -hmm. we went, okay, April, March 17th, Nevada mm -hmm. shuts down. Mm -hmm. We're like, we got to help everybody make the pivot and adjust because we immediately went, this is happening. Yes, we're going to, we're not going to like pretend that I'm not going to pretend that I didn't go through all this stuff and I'm mm -hmm. going back and forth. And that's the interesting thing about this grief cycle is that you can think you're at acceptance and then you can all of a sudden find yourself back being angry again. Absolutely. Um, or depressed. And then you move along this cycle until you get to acceptance. And this is important mm -hmm. because we've talked about it before. The market is the market. There's opportunities. But if your mm -hmm. mindset is not dialed in, then you, this is what's impacting you and you are not making anything happen in your life or your business, right? You know, Jan, I think, I think that's been one of the biggest uh, pieces of success in our coaching program uh, over the last couple months is I think, I think we, we really kind of jumped right to the acceptance as our focus, right? Like, come on guys, Absolutely. Let's, 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 here. let's, let's drag you along this path yeah. to acceptance. Right? right. Right. I mean, we, that's, that was our initial push was, Hey, let's skip all this. Let's get right to what are we going to do about this solution based? Right. right. So some of those things that we did was to help everybody realize that we're going to be working from home more. Mm -hmm. You have to embrace technology mm -hmm. and specifically the video conferencing and not be afraid of Zoom and, mm -hmm. and the other other ways that you could talk with people. I mean, mm -hmm. er, there's so many competitors out there now. So you got to know what your client wants, but everybody's mm -hmm. comfortable with Zoom. And if you're not, you need to get there. And it's intriguing to me because I still work with people in coaching and I kind of make my coaching clients learn zoom so if i'm doing a session with them it's like look no you're going to have the controls now and i'm going to walk you through it and i want you to bumble and stumble and go through all that right now with me so you're going to feel confident getting with a seller or a buyer and say let's jump on a zoom let me go through some things with you and then we can decide if we're going to start working that's together, super right? smart that's teaching in the fish right that's awesome that's mm -hmm. absolutely correct yeah and where did we do all that for you well uh matt uh david and i have repackaged what we call the 30 day challenge that we did for the whole month of April. Right. And mm -hmm. we have packaged it into a bonus module, which to be got, I mean, honestly, it could stand on its own as its own course. I agree. In our new uh, platform on WBNLcoaching.com. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching, Matt's taken us over there to it, but just go to WBNLcoaching.com if you're listening to this and make sure you go to the show notes because we're going to give you an, a, a great offer today as we're launching and you'll check out our site. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the site in a second, but we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about this run your business as a business course because this is gonna be what David and Matt and I are launching. Um, we've already we've already outlined it. We've taken everything that we've done, right, David? Mm -hmm. All the way we coach, and we we're gonna package it into a new course. That if you get this course, you're going to basically get the next best thing to hiring us one-on-one, -on -one, which I, I actually think that's going to be more impactful for anybody, but right. you're going to get what we take people through mm -hmm. in coaching, right? And you want to talk a little bit about, I'll come back to the 30 day challenge. Um, actually, let's wait on that. Let me just hit what I was, where I was going. So mm -hmm. if you're watching on the video over at our YouTube channel, you can kind of see, we repackage our 30 day challenge, adapt your mm -hmm. business to the new normal. Cause this content, I think was some of the best content we've done, David. Do, do you it agree with great, that? And we did great, it in the moment, great. in the need for it to happen. And we talk about, and so it, it stands the test of time, meaning you could go get this today and just put yourself through a 30 day challenge, 30, and even call it 30 working days where you follow our guide to go and learn four core classes on how to do Zooms, where David and I actually role played a buyer consultation, mm -hmm. a seller presentation, how to do open virtual open houses, which in the state of Nevada is still the issue. You cannot hold a real open house. We cover that. Mm -hmm. We cover how to um, do a seminar mm -hmm. to to generate some leads for buyers and sellers. And then mm -hmm. in between, oh my gosh, David, you goes over the how to do the weekly stat report, how to be the expert in your market. That for me, I mean, I you know, every time I think about that, David, I cannot tell you how many people that went through our course, it was about 130 of them the first time, um, 
said, that's the part that impacted the most. And it was the part that impacted me the most, the, the, how to know your numbers and do the weekly stats. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it is, it's what separates us from the rest. And, and as we talk about Jan repeatedly, most people in our industry don't really know their market. They think they do, they say they do and they don't, you know? And so, well, I wanted to add one thing that I learned from, you know, this was, this was your baby, Jan, this uh, 30 day challenge was, was brilliant. And, and, and what I, what I learned as a coach was the value of being in the trenches. We were put to the test, Jan. I mean, we were dealing with it just like everyone else was. It wasn't like we had any additional insight. We were dealing with it just like everybody else. But part of the reason we were able to adapt and grow and, and coach through that was because we were in the trenches also, right? That exactly. rather than being not active in real estate, not dealing with the same uh, stresses and tensions, uh, we were right there too. And so I learned much more than I taught, I would, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? Oh my gosh, yes, that's my point. I mean, I'm like, now I think the biggest thing uh, for me was, I always thought I under, I did understand the numbers, but not mm -hmm. to the level of the, let me say it this way, the confidence I got in watching you explain to us how you explain to a seller or a buyer, whether we're in a buyer or a seller's market, mm -hmm. along with watching the trends weekly was so empowering and exciting. I can't wait to see the stats every week is the yeah. point. You know, so it's, then, it, it's yeah. so funny. Let me jump in for a second. It's so funny, Jen, you should mention that about how you, how turned on you are by word by all this. It was funny to watch you because I've known you for what, eight years now or more. And uh, I, to, I could physically see your eyes lighting up and the wheels turning in your head when that actually happened. Like, David, that, I mean, <laughs> seriously, it was awesome. That was fantastic to watch. So yeah, and stuff. Matt, if Matt's got a scroller up here for uh, y'all watching, if you go to the uh, wbnlcoaching.com, but we're we're going to have a, a code, the and it's the RIBAB, R-I-B-A-A-B, it stands for running your business as a business, 50, because we're going to give you 50% off this course as our launch special, so you can get this 30-day challenge. Now, the class, the course is 197, so that's 98.50. You're going to get 98.50. You're going to get our... Uh, th uh, 30 days, which honestly, we're going to finish up what David and I and Matt are recording for you. It's going to take us 30 days to get that to you. So we want you to go through this and know that all this other content that we're going to sort of talk a little bit about today and give you some tips on structure, systems, and skills is the content that we're going to have in the Rybab course, which is basically our our new our way we coach right david mm -hmm. so let's just talk a little bit about um why don't you talk a little bit about um the, the you know some of that structure and systems that we think are critical to run your business as a true business right now and maybe we talked about the yeah. four core principles maybe mm -hmm. we could cover that and i have them i happen to have them up on okay. my things here so the very first one is something you talked about in great detail in the 30 day was number one, show value and connect. This is a theme that you must have said a thousand times in that in that course. And I now say it. So why I do, you talk I do about in every single coaching appointment, I say it two to three to four times because it always okay. circles around to that. And then part of that principle is my favorite WIFM principle, WIFM. right? So mm -hmm. Are we appealing to their WIFM, which is what's in it for me? And, uh, and so there's three things that I touch on consistently It's you always in every interaction in real estate, we must show value and connect with our people because people want to work with people that they like. However, if you don't show enough value, you may never get the opportunity to connect. So I think those are two key principles uh, appealing to their with them. What's in it for me? You know, it's all about them and that's okay. And then thirdly, I believe that we need to show people we're great, not tell them we're great. So uh, that's I, awesome. Circles that's back to around constantly in coaching. So we're going through these four core principles with you today to say, this is where we think your structure of your business needs to be. And then as we build this course out for you, it's the way we coach and we're building it as a coach yourself with us being your online coaches. Uh -huh. you, these are the four core principles you're going to hear throughout this course. Uh -huh. Ask that question every time you're doing something, are we showing value right now? Am I showing value to the client in that email, in this thing that I'm about to do? That's so powerful. Okay. So number two, relationships come first. Mm -hmm. relationships are first. Um, it's all about building that rapport and trust. You get to do that by showing that value. And one of those mm -hmm. ways is what we were just talking about, having that expertise of feeling so confident about saying, wow, the trends, 
of the uh, number of listings that have been coming on the market have been trending for the last eight weeks, right around 700 to 800, actually up to 900. Mm -hmm. Now you can uh -huh. do that because you do the stats every week and you can, and you can feel mm -hmm. good about talking about that. Right. Mm -hmm. What yep. about another way to do it? One of David's favorite, we, we both do this and he teaches it too, is uh, reaching out with personal uh, notes, right? Mm -hmm. personal my note card. Yep. I, uh, I, I think that that is probably, if not the most valuable connection we can make, it's one of them, right? I mean, it's it's almost as powerful, maybe even sometimes more powerful than picking up the phone, right? Absolutely. Because people say, Matt, I still have your Proby note card. Um, and <laughs> oh my well, God! That's when awesome. you were <laughs> when I was brand new and at, at the at our previous company, and I we save them, don't we? You know, I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've gone into a listing presentation and my note card was stuck on the refrigerator with a magnet. Oh my God. That's cool. That is awesome. And, and so relationships, relationships, building trust. And there's so many ways to do that. Definitely notes, personal calls and texts. So mm -hmm. many people do like to do texts. I'm finding a lot of people like to do direct messaging. So mm -hmm. it's all that we're going to talk mm -hmm. about that. And, and the next one, the next core principle that we're, that blends through everything we do coaching and in this core, this new uh, course we're doing is less is more concept. Less is more Oh my gosh, I have to this is a hard one for Jan because Jan is the <laughs> Jan is the let's give them way too much information and let them sort it all out for themselves. And I have adjusted guys, okay? I mean, right now on my team, I'm working on throwing out the the listing presentation is available. And that's something that you get in this 30 day basically mm -hmm. is a pretty mm -hmm. good one that we took from Breakthrough Broker and, and enhanced. Mm -hmm. And we recommend that you get a Breakthrough Broker account, by the way, because there's great content on there. Mm -hmm. But that is only there if you need to do a true presentation online. I mean, I'm developing right now a simple one, two pager that, mm -hmm. that spotlights what we do because people mm -hmm. don't have a huge attention spans. It's right. visuals. So that those kind of concepts, it's quality with simplicity, right? Mm -hmm. People don't have time to read a big, long email. I just mm -hmm. put together in our in our team our buyer lead um follow-up plan with text calls and, and emails and, and leveraging video. Everything is short, sweet to the point yeah. because that's all, that's the way it works in my mind. Really, ultimately, Jan, that's marketing 101, right? You look, you look mm -hmm. at the key, uh, the key principles and in, in, in effective marketing. You don't want big, long stories. You want bullet points. People don't have the time nor the patience. Right. Exactly. So less is more is our theme. And that means mm -hmm. we're going to give you not overwhelming, like get it down to the right tools, the right <clears throat> things that you're doing, which leads to number four, leverage the right technology for you. And one of our tenants here is no squirrels, no shiny objects. <laughs> <clears throat> what do we mean by that, David? Uh, squirrel, well, squirrel well, who saw that I movie? Just, hold on, I just got distracted. My TV was on. Hang on one second. I got to watch this. You know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here's the latest and greatest new technology that yeah. some, you know, dot commer is coming out with. That's going to be the way yeah. that of oh, the future is going to be it, you know. And, and, and so, that, honestly, but Jan, I mean, you and I have, we really yeah. have always believed in this principle of as less as more, and 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 not to get distracted. And so, what do we always say? Your know, your key lead generation um, uh, fundamentals are should be how many? How many things should you be doing to lead generate for your business? What do you mean? How many things? How many things should you be doing to lead generate for your business? How many different things? Oh, like, four, 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 four yeah, pillars? we use four pillars or the big three or whatever. You know, we've always tried to keep mm -hmm. it, you know, four or below. And that kind of, um, that lends itself to this. Don't get distracted by the oh, new. Oh, yeah. Four principle for me is no more than, I mean, three to five max, right? I'm, yeah. I'm tracking with you. Yeah. And the thing with technology also, Jen, I'll say that, yes, it, it is it is the shiny object. It's the squirrel. Uh, it can be, uh, and you know, you can go down that technology trap, right? Where you just get paralysis, paralysis through analysis. And especially those analytical people, you know, on the disc, the C's, right. they're the ones who are going to just get, you know, just dig in, right? And mm -hmm. and, and never cool. make a decision. So the paralysis Correct. comes from talking to people 15 years in the business. Uh, yeah. What's your CRM that you're using? I don't have one. Right. I mean, I don't have times I could tell you that I've oh. had that with a coach. I can't awesome. find the one I want. I'm like, all right, that is one of the very first things we're going to do. Right. I pretty much know them all. We're going to yep. dive in based on what you're, what, you know, we're mm -hmm. going to look at your company. We're going to look at a couple other things and you're going to have to find something that you're going to use. And it's more than a CRM in my opinion. And you have and to, you have to find it and stick with it. You have to commit to, to, to for a period of time, Jen. You can't go to top producer, set your top producer up. And then three months later, some great new CRM comes along. You know, Ooh, I'm going to switch. Yep. You know, that, you know, that's, that's the distraction, right? So find it, run with it, commit to it, right? 
<laughs> well, it goes back to our topic today, right? You got to build your structure, you got to improve your systems, and you got to hone your skills on everything you do from your CRM all the way up to your prospecting skills, all the way up to your customer relation. You know, I mean, yes. everything you do has got to be honed. So that's what we're talking about. Exactly. It's perfect, right? And so we're 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 excited to be able to bring this to you. Um, the What's some other things that we can discuss before we wrap up? Um, the Ryback. Uh, the Ryback. Uh, Ryback. So what 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 the heck is right? I mean, where did uh, so uh, can I tell the story of where Rhyme yeah, came from? Absolutely. Okay, so we all know what R and D. You know, we all know in our industry what R and D means, right? Mm -hmm. Rip off and duplicate. Yeah. Right? yeah. So um, so someone shared this with me years ago, Jan, when I was um, when I was following Howard Brenton with oh, the Star yeah. Power series. And there was just such great, there were so many great people that are still, you know, the top in our industry and super successful. And they, and everyone had the sharing mindset and someone shared it with me and said, here's a simple audit that we do with our team, you know, regularly to just check back in on those things. Like Matt just said, you know, Matt, those, those, those three that, you know, checking back in to make sure that we have the fundamentals in place, we're executing well on them because we all know that distractions happen, we get off course and we have to constantly kind of hone our skills and get back to those fundamentals. So this Rybab was, and it's, it's old school, it's dated, right? Um, and, and the one we started with, Jan, remember it had Rolodex on it and all that kind of stuff, you know, um, uh, beepers and, and those sort of things. So fax machines. So uh, anyway, it's, it was, it was just a cool tool that my team used over the years. And we, mo we modified it a little bit. But what's kind of fun for me is I, I look at it. I, I, I still have the original one that someone shared with me. And it stands the test of time, Jan. Every time I put it in front of someone, they, they're blown away and say, wow, this just narrows it down to what we should be doing, just the core basic essentials. And, you know, and, and it keeps us on track with actually um, executing, right? Not just saying we have it, you know, it's, to your point of the listing presentation. Well, it's one thing to have a great listing presentation. It's another thing to hone your skills and execute it at a super high level, right? right. So. That's what I loved about this Rybab, and it, it, it again, it stood the test of time. It's still, uh, you know, pound for pound, one of the best tools that I've ever seen in my career. And Jan, I think with the way we're adapting it into, it just fits like a glove. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely, it's so exciting. We, it's David and I, have been working uh, while Matt was away on his extended vacation. Um, oh, is that what we're calling it now—a vacation? <laughs> I'm putting the acceptance okay. spin on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Making a middle, oh, I'm going to make a middle note lazy. of that one. <laughs> you're so lazy, Matt. God, oh, yeah. you really Matt. Wow. <laughs> Here, I'll say it another way. Well, Matt was on temporary duty, TDY, yeah. to give it Thank military. Yeah, right. there military we go. Um, um, that is, yeah. Oh, 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 you're saying vacation implies that you're, you know, enjoying yourself and having fun all the time and like out doing things. Yeah, no, your pandemic uh, TDY. Digging at yourself out of the little uh, hole she just got into. Nope, it's all good. Um, <laughs> where I set that up for is because David and I were working on our uh, flow for this course, okay? Mm -hmm. And we it's we're fine tuning it. It has the, it starts with those core principles, and then we're mm -hmm. going to get into making sure you're clear. But when we talk about what's the right technology, mm -hmm. we're going to go through what we feel we mean by that. Meaning, mm -hmm. what are the basic tools, and not basic. What are the simple yet effective tools that you need to have in your arsenal to be successful in today's world? So it's everything from knowing your numbers to do you follow a morning ritual, mm -hmm. having these core systems, and and are you using a perfect week? Uh, do you understand video conferencing? What kind of mm -hmm. technology are you using to stay in touch with people from CRM mm -hmm. to your website? Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny how many people don't even use a website or right. they don't have a search mm -hmm. app or they don't take, use the tools that are available through their local mm -hmm. MLS mm -hmm. and then they're piling things on. So we're going to talk about how to simplify that down to social media mm -hmm. uh, and so on. And then go through the tools that we personally use with our teams to share mm -hmm. with you use cases and stories of how we're effectively doing it. And so instead of saying, hey, you need to go get a CRM, of course, you know that David and I want to show you how we're doing it, mm -hmm. how we're effectively doing that hands on with our team and share that content with you. We're, that's what we're all about, right, David? We're going to share mm -hmm. uh, the information. Plus, uh, David, I think on your list is this is going to be a big thing because we've had this one business plan forever, which is actually something David brought to me years ago when I was his broker. But mm -hmm. we want to come up with a more simplified, useful business plan and goal setting mm -hmm. that we know won't scare people, right? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, uh, we blew it out. Years, yeah, we blew it out years ago, Jan, and it was in, in, in the business plan we use is incredible uh, on so many levels. However, I, again, I think it just is it can it become overwhelming, and so we're going back to the less is more principle, right? Okay. We're going to streamline it down to just the core essentials, so you have a basic business plan to follow. And then, and then all of the things that we do through technology and communicating and connecting with our our people um, will will facilitate those goals in that business plan. But um, but so uh, yeah. And there's a couple of things that when, when you talked about um, some of the things that I think are super important with um, communicating with our database through our CRM. You know, there's a couple things that. that Jan and I are teaching and coaching and training. One of them is building an agent network, of course. Yes. Um, and then another thing that I think is invaluable that most of us really don't do well, um, I would say nearly all of us don't do very well, is a good after the sale follow-up plan. Yes. We really blow our people away for the, the first year after. And then, of course, they stay in our database forever. So there's some things like that, Jan, that I think um, are going to be you know, fundamentals, essential. And and I think our people are going to get the most from those things because that's something that, like I said, almost no one does. That's powerful what yeah. you said. <clears throat> fundamentals with a spin because so many people don't even have the fundamentals in place, mm-hmm. but we're going to, this course is all about is the way we coach. Mm-hmm. So when you coach with us or you, you get involved in this, any of this training that we have online, especially this course that we're building out mm-hmm. is it's going to take the fundamentals, but put it on a, if you're a brand new agent, it's going to mm-hmm. help you. If you're a seasoned agent who never really put the fundamentals in place, it's going to have that with a spin for what works today. That's what's mm-hmm. so exciting about what we're doing. So yeah, he, I- David just mentioned the four pillars. He just talked a little bit about number one is, your sphere of influence and database. Uh So we're going to go through all of that. We're going to talk about social media and online presence that works. How do you get more database, Matt? Did Jen? I I, I believe believe so. Database? I think so. It's all rubbing off. It's all rubbing off. This is recorded, right? Okay, I got to clip that. I now say database, okay? (laughs) Tomato, tomato. I'm now a tomato person. What can I say? Uh, the other pillar is farming, but we're also lumping into farming all types of other lead generation from circle prospecting to your niche to expireds, right? How do you do all that? So this is where we're going to have, it's not like you can reinvent how you do real estate. We just have ways that we can share with you that work that are different approach to something that's kind of old school that you might consider old school. And then my favorite part of this is before, during, and after what David calls BDA, so having a, a simplistic yet effective um, system, which leverages te- your tech, your CRM and so forth for what you do with a buyer and a seller, which is the core of our business, right? Mm-hmm. Buyers and sellers it could be invested, it could be types of buyers and sellers. Mm-hmm. But if you're doing residential real estate, you're working with buyers and sellers. So mm-hmm. for buyers, what do you have in place for before, during and after the transaction? And for the seller, same thing. That's going to be the best part for a lot of people because so many people, honestly, just are in the transaction and that's it, right? They're not, they're doing their essentials to do a great job and and frankly, doing a great job taking care of their client. But imagine what your business would look like if you had a solid BDA in place for your buyer and seller Mm -hmm. transaction. Oh my gosh, it's off the charts what your business is going to look like. Yeah, the the BDA, Jen, I love it as a coaching tool um, because A, it allows us to circle back through the before, the during, the after. The before, it it allows us to compartmentalize our business into, you know, three parts, right? In other words, you know, the whole business is, is is a drinking from a fire hose, right? So if we can break it out and work on sections of the before, the during, and the after, and then one of the first things that we do in coaching is identify where the biggest opportunities are. What are the big rocks? What are the things we want to handle first in the before, the during, and the after that are going to give us the best results, right? So I love the fact that it it, it, it chunks it down to smaller bite-sized pieces. We can get laser beam focus, and then when we're in those pieces, we're going to focus on the best return, right? So BDA is for me and coaching has been, it helps me as a coach, right? Because I, I'm not all over the place. I'm able exactly. to focus uh-huh. on one right. area. So. As a matter of fact, while David and I are working, we're working through this flow, we are building out exactly structure for coaching as we even look to uh-huh. coach for future or uh, certify future coaches. Uh-huh. It's going to be through this process that we're going uh-huh. to put in 
context uh, for you uh, mm -hmm. with us coaching you. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about that, because if you do work with David or I in a one on one coaching situation, we're going to refer you back to the content that, mm -hmm. hey, we just covered such and such today. If it's a little overwhelming, go watch this lesson in the unit mm -hmm. uh, or in the module on whatever, and you'll mm -hmm. see us walking through how to do you know, know your numbers or how to do that mm -hmm. weekly stats report. So we have so mm -hmm. much content on this site already. It's crazy. But mm -hmm. I got to tell you, as, as you just as you just went through all this with me, and 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 covered what what you see us doing. Um, I don't think we're charging enough for this course. <laughs> <laughs> Back to just, that. I am just gonna say, holy mackerel! It's it's a it's a it's a mini coaching program. But here's the deal: right now, we are offering it. it the price is gonna go up when we have the content available. So right now, it's one ninety seven. However, we're giving you 50% off. So for 98.50, you get the 30 days of content that we were talking about to help you, which I think everybody listening probably, even if you were listening and you were went through the 30 day challenge with us, I know many people didn't finish the challenge. So why don't you get yourself restarted with that if you're hearing it for the first time? For 98.50, you're going to be able to get that. Plus everything David and I just talked about on a high, high level which is going to be everything we would do to coach you for over three to six months, to be honest, right? That's how much content is going to be jam packed into that course. Absolutely. You're getting that because we're just launching this course. And we think this is the, this is the valuable um, in the moment course, but we have so many other training courses available over on our site. If you're into teams and you want to learn how to be, build a team, that is our specialty with Matt, Jan and I, we are the team builder company. We're, we have a program called real estate team builder. That is going to help you build a team from the ground up. We have an intro free class on that, 12 tips on how to build a team. We launched that. It still stands the test of time. Good, good Lord. We launched that in 2015, Matt, and I went through all those videos. <laughs> yes, we and did. And they are excellent. It's a free class. We, had, we do have a free business planning class, which is the original way we did business planning, which mm -hmm. is still relevant, but we're excited mm -hmm. to bring you a, a, a cleaner, mm -hmm. um, maybe more simple and efficient way to do business planning. Mm -hmm. We have hiring an assistant. If you don't want to be, if you don't want to uh, just build a team, you want to hire an assistant. We took the module out of our team builder program just on hiring an assistant. It's more than hiring an assistant. It's how to set up your operations manual. It's job mm -hmm. descriptions. It's mm -hmm. the entire hiring and onboarding process. That mm -hmm. that alone is, a, is, a, is is worth the price of admission for the team builder program. Mm -hmm. But we broke it out as its own program, and these are all affordable trainings. Um, you know, we we have a, a mindset productivity course uh, for forty seven dollars, a line connect prosper that has mm -hmm. so much content. And then our core systems, which when we talk about what we're going to do in Rybab, we're going to cover some things about how on a high level. You're probably going to want the connect your real estate business program mm -hmm. and our real estate social media course mm -hmm. um, for the underlying, how do you actually do a listing presentation and how do you, that's the stuff that's in there. So my goodness, what am I missing guys? Is that, I mean, we've got something for everyone. If you're new, if you're in the middle of your career, if you're seasoned, if you're a broker, or if you're a manager, we have availability for you um, to, we have specific trainings for you. Plus we're available to do consulting and coaching. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. That's so it. The, that's all there is. Hardly that's anything. All there is. No content. All right, so, so the last, yeah, we have so much yeah. content. It's crazy. So the last piece is, David, let's talk about if we get enough interest, uh, Matt, David, and I have been thrown around the idea of doing a group coaching program, uh, an affordable group coaching program that would be under a mm -hmm. hundred bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Um, however, because of time constraints and how busy we all are, what we're going to do is start promoting this program called Elevate and we have started an interest list. So you can join the interest list by going over to wbnlcoaching.com and you'll see it all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, the Elevate group coaching is basically going to be something that we would launch in October, mm -hmm. which is great because it's the last quarter, get mm -hmm. you ready for the new year. Uh, mm -hmm. Frankly, October is always when I like to do business planning, business assess planning? where your business has come right. from. And that's what we're, we're looking at doing two live sessions with you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have in our group on our one on one coaching starts at four ninety five a month, by the way. So you can reach out to David or I or, or complete any of the forms on our site and say, yeah, I want a free consultation. And David or I will get back to you and set that up, go over what we do in coaching, see if we're a fit and then send you all the information about one on one coaching. Mm -hmm. If that's out of your price range right now, 
the under hundred dollars a month is going to get you two live sessions plus access to uh there's a one-time initiation fee mm -hmm. um that'll be right around 300 bucks that'll give you access to these courses that we just went over and that you'll have for life and then you'll be able to just ongoing get group accountability have us doing live trainings with you a second session would be more of a uh you know bring your stuff to Jan and David and we're going to sit and help you with it, you know, and we're going to uh, talk about real world things that are happening and, and be, mm -hmm. be a kind of group accountability and support for you. So if you're interested in that, get on the interest list. We have to have enough people to make that work uh, because we're all busy, right, David? So anything yeah. to add to that what, what, uh, as far as what we would do and elevate or what you're envisioning for that? No, I mean, I think you, I think you nailed it, Jan. I mean, it's, it's exciting because it, it is, um, I mean, let's face it, Jen. I mean, you and I have uh, always had a coach on some level. Um, you know, in fact, I would kind of, I would, I would say that you were probably my first real estate coach, right? And 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 indirectly, you were my broker, but you coached me weekly, right? We sat mm -hmm. down and you held me accountable, and we grew systems. And so, on some level, I've always had at least one or two coaches in my entire career, and. Um, and you know, for someone to be able to step in at, a, at an entry level like this to get some coaching and get some systems in place is just going to be invaluable to their growth. Cool. All right. Well, I think we have successfully discussed what we have. There's something for everybody. So just go mm -hmm. check out WBNLcoaching.com. Go to the show notes today at WBNL coach, WBNLpodcast.com so you can get that coupon code to, to use to get 50% off of the Rybab course. And then reach out to David or I if you have any questions. We'll have our contact information up there on the on the podcast today. Uh, so you can reach out to us directly or text message us. And we're here to help. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. That's a wrap for episode 132 of the Wandering Men Outlaws podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Like Jan said, all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. All right. Hey, you guys got anything planned for the weekend? Um, chilling. Uh, just just uh -huh. hanging out at home, I, I'm cook, doing some barbecuing. Uh, my daughter's coming over. So I, 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 last weekend, I, I went to Duck Creek, and that was incredible. How about I need you, to get Matt? out and do some hiking. Actually, we're we're just gonna we're gonna take a drive tomorrow because it's I you know I, I've been getting I've been kind of getting used to being back at home. It's so weird being gone for three months is a long time. You don't realize it until you get back. It's like I find myself. This is just like a really weird thing. Like I I'm a big as David knows as, as David knows I'm a big hot sauce fan, right? So I always have crystal yeah. sauce in the refrigerator in a certain spot. Well, at my mom's house, it was at a different spot. So I went into the refrigerator ah. to get hot sauce to put on my avocado toast this morning, and I went to mm. reach for. I'm like, where the hell? Where the hell is my hot sauce? Awesome. I'm like, oh, <laughs> di different fridge. <laughs> so wow. it's funny how you kind of readjust to things in three months. Yeah. I got into different habits while I was gone. It's yeah, weird. Yeah. I've never been away from my, uh, you know, my normal surroundings for so long. So it was kind no. of weird. That, that yeah. is temporary duty. That Welcome to the military. <laughs> yeah, no did. kidding. You went no kidding. No. tour of duty. We are actually going down to San Diego County, down outside near the Wild Animal Park, outside of uh, Escondido. There is a, a uh, fruits or a, uh, a produce stand down there. We go to all the time, and uh, we haven't been down all summer, so we're going to drive down there. We're going to get cool. some Valencia oranges and some watermelon, mm. and it's just going to be a little road trip tomorrow. Good. So I'm looking good. looking forward to that. Exactly. Get up and How about get you, out. Jan? You doing uh, anything? No plans. No plans. Hoping right, well. to watch some hockey. We'll see if that Yay. happens. Yay! But that's Very it. Good. All right, everyone. Show notes, wbnlpodcast.com. Uh, remember, get up, get out, be safe, mask up, and be forever wandering but not lost. Mm -hmm.